Go ahead and grab the materials that you need for this lesson. Pause if you need to. Turn to the fraction edition using grid paper page of your fraction edition study packet. Learning target. I can estimate and use the denominators of two fractions to create a rectangular grid. Once I have a common denominator, I can combine the numerators. Directions. Number one, tip. Don't ever add denominators. Two, use denominators to create a blank by blank rectangular grid. Three, add the numerators. Four, simplify. So I'm starting with a fairly simple problem because I know that three is half of six, um, which means that it's one half and one half plus one half is one. So I want to use a simple example to model a harder concept. All right, so three six is one half and one half is also one half. One half plus one half is about one, so my sum should be one. So I'm going to use the denominator six and two to make a six by two grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, down two, one, two. And I need to close it. Because I'm modeling the three six, I need three, six of something. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and six, six. I need to shade in three of the sixes, or the six, excuse me. One, six, two, six, three, six. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six. So an equivalent fraction to three, six is six, twelve, which makes sense because three is half of six and six is half of twelve. Plus, now I need to model my one half. I'll use a six by two grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, down two, one, two. This time I'm modeling the one half, so I need to find two of something. I know that if I go up and down, those are six, so I need to go across one, two. One half, two halves. Now I need to model uh, one of the two equal parts. There's one half, six, twelve, six. So one half is equal to six twelfths. Uh, one is half of two, six is half of twelve. We don't ever add denominators, so six plus six is twelve, and I simply rewrite the denominator of twelve. Twelve twelfths is improper, it's equal to one, whole. So 3 6 plus 1 half is 1 whole. 1 fourth plus 1 third. 1 fourth is 1 fourth away from the half. 1 third is 1 sixth away from the half. 1 half plus 1 half is about 1. So we're going to make a 4 by 3 grid. Let's do 1 two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm modeling the one fourth, so I need to partition this shape into four equal pieces. One, two, three, those are thirds. One, two, three, four, there we go. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. I need to shade in one of those fourths. Three, six, nine, twelve. Three, 
So 1 fourth is equivalent to 3 twelfths plus I'm going to make another 4 by 3 grid to represent the model, an equivalent fraction to the model 1 third. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Need to partition this shape into three equal pieces. 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. Shade in one of the thirds. 4, 8, 12. 4. 1 third is equivalent to 4 twelfths. We don't ever add denominators. Uh, 3 plus 4 is 7. I need to make sure my fraction is in simplest form. If I look here, here's 7 twelfths, 7 and 12. And I can't go any higher, which mean or lower, I guess, which means that 7 twelfths is in simplest form. Another way to prove that is 7 is a prime number, and it's not a factor of 12. If it helps to look at the fraction this way, 7 twelfths, I can't go over to the left, so 7 twelfths is in simplest form.